Hello guys and welcome back to This is Sparta on an Arming Pine. I'm Dave. In the last episode we played our final league game. And today's episode is going to be a season review. How did the other leagues finish? How did our league finish? Who was our best player? All that kind of stuff. So, starting with our league, as we can see on the screen here. Ajax won the league by 6 points ahead of PSV, with a 15 point gap to Feyenoord. AZ just underneath, Herenveen, Vitesse, Ronigan, Vol, then us. Massively overachieving. We were meant to try and avoid automatic relegation, which would have put us down here. We ended up finishing ninth. Den Haag, Roda, Heracles, Uliem, Utrecht, go ahead, were all above the relegation places. Excelsior and Twente had to fight it out, and NEC were automatically relegated from the league. Have a look at our team that we had, that we played in our last game. We had Glover in net. Who I don't think will be with us next year because Tottenham want us to pay for him, unfortunately. Connor Randall at right back. Same problem, they want us to pay for him now. Vrenz, Breedyke, and Van Drongelen will hopefully stay with us, even though I can see maybe some bigger teams coming in for Vrenz because he's now a good player for the area of easy. I can see maybe someone like Ajax wanting to pinch him because he's Dutch as well. Dumbia won't. 90% won't be with us next year because Anderlecht, I want to give him a chance in the first team. Febas, we now want money for. I don't think he'll be with us. Vernoven, one of our youngsters, he will be with us. Quite possibly getting a bit more game time this year. Him or Duarte in that role. Dag on the right. Unless we get an exceptional offer, he will be staying, even though he wants to leave. Van Hoven, same applies. We've had some decent side offers. Unless we get a really big one, he won't be leaving. And he's a good, talented youngster for us. Tominello, our top goal scorer this year. 90%, same as Dumbia, won't be with us next year. Reason for that, Roma have accepted our loan offer about four times. He doesn't want to come back. I'm assuming because he thinks he's too good for the league, which if you look at his ratio... He played 14 games, he scored 10, got 2 assists, and got 3 man of the matches. You can understand why he doesn't want to come back. He is a bit too good for this league. Right, let's have a look at some of the other leagues from around the world. Let's go to the English Premier League first. So, Arsenal won the league by 7 points ahead of Man United, with Chelsea and Man City making up the top 4. The Europa League football, we've got Tottenham, Liverpool and Leicester better than they did in real life relegated we've got West Brom Sunderland and Everton Everton I can see them losing quite a few of their bigger players now like Lukaku I reckon I'll leave Schneidlin Barkley as we can see top goal scorers were Lukaku Zlatan with Giroud just behind on 19 highest average rating Juan Mata for Man United followed by Ozil and Koscielny most assists Eden Hazard then Surprisingly, N'Golo Kante and Mark Noble. Most clean sheets by a country mile, keeping a clean sheet in over half of his games in the Premier League was David De Gea with 21 clean sheets. That is absolutely insane. Let's go to Spain. Barcelona won the league 11 points ahead of Real Madrid, followed by Atletico and Villarreal getting Champions League football. Europa League football, Sevilla, Malaga and Celta Vigo. Punching quite high there. Relegated from their league were Coruña, Legans, and Sporting Gijon. Top goal scorer, Luis Suarez. Av highest average rating, not too much for surprise because soon they won the league. You've got Messi, Suarez, and Neymar, the MSN strike force. Most assists, Soriano of Villarreal, followed close by, by Lionel and Messi. Have a look, clean sheets. De Stegen, top. Barcelona won the league. It's not too surprising. And most yellow cards, Sergio Ramos. Let's go to Germany. German first division. League table. Bayern won the league by 11 points. Followed, for, follow, followed, forcely, followed closely by Borussia Dortmund. With Leverkusen and Hamburg in Champions League. Europa League, we've got RBL, Mainz and Mönchengladbach. A German team. 
And we've got Gelsenkirchen or Schalke, Wolfsburg, Köln, Frankfurt, Bremen, Hertha, Freiburg, Hoffenheim, Augsburg. Relegated were Ingolstadt and Darmstadt. Top goal scorer, Javier Hernandez. Chikorito, banging in the goals, 24. Followed closely by Lewandowski and Aubameyang. Highest average ratings, we've got Hummels, Boateng and Lahm. They say Bayern's defence must have been incredible. Let's have a proper look. How many goals did they concede? Goals against, 29 goals. Best defence in the league. No wonder half their defenders are the highest rated. Manuel Neuer, 16 clean sheets. What else would you expect from him? Oh, I can just click here. Right, let's go. Syria. Juve won it by one point ahead of AC Milan. The Giants coming back. Inter Milan also got Champions League. Fourth and fifth, Napoli and Lazio get Europa. Roma finished down in eighth, our parent club. Relegated were Pescara, Cronton and Palamo. Highest goal scorer, Mauro Riccardi. Not really too surprising. Second, Andrea Bellotti. Again, not too surprising. Third, Carlos Bacca. Yeah, no real surprises there, to be honest. Highest ratings, Bonucci, Dybala and Romagnoli. Still no surprises yet. Clean sheets, Booth on top with 20 over half of his games. Donna Rummer, second with 19 exactly half of his games. That's impressive. Donna Rummer, he'll have that next year. Buffon won't be able to do that again. I doubt it anyway with him turning 40 in the new year. Most yellow cards, Strutman and De Rossi for Roma. 17 yellow cards each. 17 yellow cards for Roma's starting midfielders. No wonder they finished down in 8th with those two suspended for that long. Go to Portugal. Benfica won it. Porto second, Sporting third, as you'd expect. Relegated were Ferenizi and Chavez. I've probably butchered them. Apologies if I have. League one, league table. PSG won the league 10 points clear of AS Monaco, with Lyon in third. Lorient relegated. Wouldn't have expected them to be down that far. Nice with Balotelli finished in 14th. Marseille got Europa. That is it for season one, guys, of This is Sparta. We exceeded expectation in all of our competitions. We got some good players in on loan to supplement. We'll have to replace them next year. Try and give youth a bit more of a chance. Now we know our team is good enough to finish mid-table. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you for support on this series so far. And I'll see you tomorrow for episode one of season two.